Good morning my YouTube friends. Today I've got a box to unbox for you and uh, I've got uh, actually a hole as well. A box that I opened earlier but it's not orchid but this one is orchid. So I have unboxing, orchid unboxing for you and uh, I want to try it with one hand um, for first time to see if I could really open it. I know it's hard. But I know lots of people doing it. But since this is not a very big box, uh, so maybe I can do some part of it. I might need my hand, my both hands, but I try to do as much as I can with one hand. So this is a box, uh, box of orchid I ordered from, from Orchid uh, Garden in Poland. And uh, the reason for ordering this one is um, two reasons. First, for my birthday, and second, for um, when I saw a particular orchid that I really liked. So, and um, I placed an order, and obviously, together with <coughs> one orchid, it comes four or five other orchids. So, Let's see what I've got. This is the smallest box ever. <laughs> I usually have bigger boxes, but let's see how the orchids look like. So the first one is uh, this is a Phragmopedium Fritz Schomburg, uh, which is um, the very famous. Uh, Phragmopedium um, Kovacii times by the red one Bessii, I think. But it's a very small, little tiny seedling. Uh, but it's not too bad. I think it's it's okay. It's not too bad. I mean, the size in camera shows bigger, but it's in reality it's smaller than it is. So let me just put it in here because it's making a lot of mess. Uh, next, so this was the orchid, um, Phragmopedium. Oops. Um, what's his name? Fritz Schomburg. Pagmopedion Fritz Schomburg. Uh, so I think the media has been moved a lot, so I need to pop that. Okay, next I've got. Okay, so this was the reason I ordered this one. Actually, this one and this Fragmopedium, these two, I really wanted. Vandopsis Giaho Orange was really nice uh, flower. I thought it might be bigger but um, it looks small. So just let's open and see. Okay, the size is not too bad actually. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a hybrid between Vanda and Phalnopsis. It's called Vandopsis. Yeah, not too bad. It's nice. And it's flowering size apparently. And yeah, it's already been blooming. And yeah, two um, dry um, spikes I see. So hopefully it will bloom for me. So this is. My Vandopsis. Next, I have another seedling, <laughs> which is a small Dendrobium Lime Delight. So it's a Latoria Dendrobium again, and oh, sorry, my camera work is not great today because I have to do it with one hand. And as you know, it's so difficult to do it with one hand. These papers are almost 
wet so that I can read them easily. So it's a nice seedling, not too small, not too big. It's, it's seedling, so it will take a few years to bloom. But hey, it's nice and healthy. Next, I have Calea erosa. Mm. Oh, I think this is the wrong one. I uh, don't remember I ordered something like that. Okay, I have to check it later on. Um, I've ordered a cat layer called Volatile, something like that, I think. If oh, there are three more. Let's see what they are first. Okay, so this is Dendrobium uh, Napori, which is a kind of Dendrobium nobly. Uh, with nice flowers and oh that's got nice new growth so yeah it says flowering size but it looks a bit small to me to flower but you never know they, they can flower in any oh there is one actually flower um, spike, little spike, if you see, if it doesn't blast you, you know, because of the um, transport, sometimes happens, because of transport, you have a, a little bud which can blast after they got to your home, but that's, uh, that was dendrobium nobly type, called Nepori uh, it's nice very nice flowers it's got pink white with edges of pink really nice and very big um, black throat next one I have Dendrobium Gaton Gaton Sunray hmm. I like this Dendrobium after I watched um, uh, another YouTube channel called uh, Margaret East and she's got a very big one uh, of this one actually this is kind of, although it says flowering size but it's small to me but hers was really big and nice uh, but not too bad uh, though it's been uh, okay uh, makes me a bit worried because lots of um, it wet. I don't know yet. So after I reparted it, well, I hope it doesn't have any cold damage or anything. But the others look fine to me. This one looks a bit suspicious. I hope um, nothing bad has happened to it. But um, I think maybe I need to dry it. Let it dry. Uh, Bit because it's wet. Okay, so this one, Gatun Sunray, has really nice. Um, this at the moment has nothing, it's just a cane, but that's uh, the dormant kind of plant. Um, when they flower, they give you really nice uh, yellow blooms. And that one is Angola Ebronia. It's similar to Lycasti family. I have another Angola which is the yellow. This one was white and bigger than the one I have. It's still a seedling, but it has a nice big growth. I like this one. I hope it doesn't. Um, you know, didn't get any cold damage or anything so that's that and this one this catalyst that I'm not sure if it's the right one or not because this is a different name 
at Leo Arrow, so I have to check it. So here it says Cattleya Arosa F1940 RHS, but my the one I've ordered is Cattleya Volatile, which is a hybrid between um, Cattleya Daviana and CD Rubbling. I don't know if the name has changed or anything, so I have to check this one. In. So we get back to them and let me just open it so this is just uh, all my plant uh, as I've um, opened them up all uh, so this one is Dendrobium uh, Gaton Sunray uh, as I said got lovely yellow blooms um, the moment I don't see any new growth or anything but I hope it hasn't been damaged uh, by the cold or anything so uh, next one is Fragmopedium Fitz uh, Schomburg as I said it's a hybrid between Fragmopedium this is my first ever Fragmopedium and I hope I don't kill it <laughs> uh, because it's my favorite Two two favorite fragmopediums ever, uh, which is Kovacii, um times by Bessia, the red one, and Kovacia everyone knows. Uh, so it's got purple bloom when it blooms, which is going to be a few years time, if it grows well. So we we'll see. And this one is Angola Ebor. Ebornia. It's got only one uh, new growth and one pseudobulb. Uh, it's a seedling uh, with um, lovely white blooms. And next one is Dendrobium Lime Lime Delight. It's a Latoria hybrid. Again, uh, I don't remember the um, parents at the moment. Uh oh probably search it and find it out for my next update and this one was the Cattleya Arosa that I said I didn't order this one it's not familiar name I've ordered something else called um, um, Cattleya Volatile or something like that which is a hybrid between uh, two famous Cattleya CG Rubbling and uh, Cattleya uh, Daviana but I have to check this one as I said and Nepori Dendrobium Nepori is kind of a, a nobly um, Dendrobium uh, a lovely white with pink edges and uh, big black throat lovely blooms and that one is Vandopsis Giaho's orange orange blooms so it's a hybrid between Vanda and Phalaenopsis, uh, which is my first hybrid ever. And uh, so I like the flowers when I ordered it. It's really nice orange. And something else, non orchid, I want to show you. I've ordered also three plant. Uh, it came two days ago. Viburnum opolus, which is a white um, ball uh, flower, lovely flowers when it grows bigger actually. And this one is, these are all outdoor plants for my garden. I'm going to plant them out into bigger pots and maybe I can film it later on if you are interested. And this one's Solly Hetero. Um, heteroph heterophylo phyla bluebell it's got lovely blue uh, bluebell shape bloom I've had this plant a few years back but I lost it I don't remember how it died but I had to get it again and this one is 